Hey, what's up you guys? It's Vinny and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, having it already, hit that subscribe button and the bell to turn on post notifications. I look and probably sound like crap. I can't hear myself. I mean, I do in my head and I promise you it sounds like 10 times worse in my head, but I'm just getting over a sickness that happened probably like forever ago since I'm posting this because I don't plan on posting this anytime soon so anyways I can't sleep and um, I'm the only one here besides my dog and I just realized I left the kitchen light on um, but I can't sleep and when I can't sleep I scroll on Instagram a bunch on the like discover page and I get really weird facts brought up to me and that's what I'm gonna share with you because that's what I get so you're welcome. Now these aren't just any normal facts and um, they're girl facts. Um, specifically that time of the month facts. So once again, if you're a guy and you don't want to hear about periods, you're welcome to go. I have plenty other videos. Is that a correct sentence? I don't know. This one might not be for you. But if it is, you know, you can learn a couple things. Um, I think I have like 15 facts written down. I don't know why um, I just get I'm really into like random facts that you don't know and then I'm like wow and then I bring them up in my daily life and they're like how do you know that I'm like cuz I'm a weirdo okay so here we go you know that myth that when you're swimming you can't bleed you know not everybody feels this way but I think it's a myth okay but apparently it can temporarily cork your flow when you're submerged in water. It's not that you stop bleeding, but there's more pressure to stop the blood from flowing out when you're submerged in water. So that's why that tampon is probably not as soaked as it should be when you're swimming. <laughs> Did you know that Disney made a movie? about periods in the 1940s listen if someone can find this vi like video i don't care how long it is i want to watch it okay send it to me find it send it to me it is called the story of menstruation and it was funded by kotex um i would love to react to this video because it's probably like one of the first things about periods that was out there first of all, and now it's like a common thing, like you see so many period type commercials. I don't know. Menstrual cups can safely be worn four hours longer than tampons, which is insane because I feel like tampons, they say like take it out after three hours max. So if it can be worn four hours longer than that, that's seven hours of not changing anything. That's like pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Um, I don't know how to do all that, but pretty interesting. Orgasms can make cramps feel better, which is probably why you're really horny um, when you're on your period. Your body's like, I know a relief for this, okay? I got you. The period you get on birth control isn't real. What? <laughs> it's not caused by the same process because you aren't losing eggs. So you don't lose eggs when you're on birth control. I should probably get on birth control, which is why I think people older are able to have babies now. That's just a me thing. I don't know. I don't think it's scientifically proven. It definitely, like, if it is, I don't know about that. I just think it makes sense because people are having their periods later in life. I mean, not periods, sorry. Babies, they're having babies later in life which, you know, than they could back in the 1940s when the thing about periods came out. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you bleed on average 2.7 ounces or almost two shot glasses. That's your whole period, two shot, almost two full shot glasses. Is, why does it seem like so much more? I don't understand. Like, are they lying to me? Or are they saying, like, it's daily? Because I think they're saying throughout the, like, seven-week period. I mean, seven-day period. I can't. My brain. This is why I should be asleep right now. And instead, I have facts 
that nobody asked for. All right. <laughs> Where do I go now? A rare period disorder can cause bleeding of the eyes. Okay, there's only been a handful of cases, but it is true. Can you imagine? You're just walking down the street with your, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. You're hanging out with your friends maybe. And all of a sudden, demon eyes, blood pouring from your eyes. I can't imagine that. I would die. Everyone around you would think you're being possessed. Imagine if you were doing it like during like a seance or something. Everyone would be like, oh my god, losing their crap. That would be hilarious actually. If anyone like spotty does that, cool party trick if you can pull it off during like playing with the Ouija board or something with your friends. Probably shouldn't do that. I'm just being me. It's called vicarious menstruation. I may be wrong. Um, I can't pronounce things. If you know me, you know. If you know my channel, you know, sorry. So basically with this rare disorder, um, it makes you bleed from organs besides the uterus. So any organ? Can you have internal bleeding? I'm confused. When endometrial tissue, which sheds during the period, is transmitted through the bloodstream. That's what happens. Oh, okay. I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a sleep deprived girl. Also, I don't think you can tell, but my wisdom tooth over here is swollen so bad, which is probably why I can't sleep. It hurts so bad and that's why I'm here. Okay. Getting your period can worsen asthma symptoms. Actually, um, apparently, because I read more on it, um, it's not just asthma symptoms. If you get sick and then your period starts, you can be sick longer, which is um, crazy to me, but okay. I, mean, I believe you, man. Sleeping with a nightlight can help regulate your cycle. Okay, I personally, I have the wackest cycle okay there's nothing consistent about me but I cannot stand sleeping with light on unless I'm dead tired and like you know those those days you come home from like school and you just need to nap and then you pass out like all night and you wake up at like 2 a.m. that's the only time I fall asleep with the light on <laughs> light exposure expects Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> Light exposure affects the secretion, I hate that word, of melatonin, which helps control the release of the female reprodu reproductive hormones that determine when your cycle ends and begins. So, if you have a way off cycle, start sleeping with a nightlight. Maybe it'll help. <laughs> there are more than 5,000 euphemisms for periods around the world. One in French, which translates to the English have landed. And one in German, which translates to a strawberry week. I wasn't gonna attempt to say what they are because there's no way I could, just saying. So I didn't even write it down, sorry. If you wanna know, Google it, you know, period euphemisms. Um, here, I've heard Shark Week, I've heard um, Mother Nature's Gift, um, God, I don't even know. My mom's just like, period, 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 you got your period. Um, God, I don't even know, I don't, <laughs> like, I don't listen to people when they talk, so, sorry. The sound of your voice changes during your period. What? <laughs> Is it noticeable? One. These are the questions I have. Sorry, it doesn't say. Is it noticeable? Why? Is it a good or a bad change? Like, does it get higher? Does it get lower? Does it get more sexy and smooth? Like, I don't... Someone help, okay? I didn't know we would be here in life. I'm sorry. The average woman has over 400 periods in her life. I would die. Um, honestly, 
How do you stop your periods? Um, birth control. Pregnancy. Pregnancy stops it for like nine months. Do you still get your period if you get your ovaries cut out or do you go straight to um, menopause? That's a good question. I should Google that shit. This is how my brain works. This is why I don't talk to you guys at night. I'm sorry. All right, two more things, okay? Tampons are sold in boxes of 18 because that's the average amount used each cycle. But the same study claims that you could use, it says we, sorry, I don't know, that you can use up to 48 each month. Okay, me personally, I don't like buying like pads and tampons when I'm on my period because it's like, I wish I had this in the house. Like I'm, I'm struggling here, okay? So I always like try to have extra somewhere in the house. Like if they only give you enough for your supposed little cycle, like you're, you gotta buy that every month. Like where can I buy bulk? Like can I buy a hundred of them? <laughs> right now so I never have to go shopping again for like a couple years maybe is that possible um let me know in the comments if you like to shop during your period or if you like to have it in the house because honestly with mine not being consistent I think I prefer that it's in the house because it's like you never know when it's coming and if you're not like, if you are out of the house, then keep some in your purse, your backpack, in your car, you know, wherever you got. Like, make sure you have at least, I used to, I don't anymore because I don't carry a purse, have three of each everything. So I have, like, overnight pads, three of each, which I never ever used the overnight pads. I don't know why I had them. Mm, regular pads, three of each. Tampons, three of each. Three of each size that I had. So like regular, extra small, and then, you know. What's the extra small called? Teen? I think it's called teen. I don't know. And then the super. You know, I had three of each of everything. Not only just for me, because then you have some for your friends, you know. Your friends, which I don't have either. When they get their period, you're like, here you go. You probably use 15,000 period products in your life. How much money is that? Literally. Think about it. 15,000 times whatever you buy. If you wear freaking liners. Pads, tampons, everything. Times that by 15,000 and add up the total cost of your monthly expenses for that right because that's just expensive and it shouldn't be it should be fucking free because we didn't ask for this life okay take that number times that by 15,000 that's how much money you're spending in your lifetime at least for this gift from mother nature that you didn't ask for. Isn't that insane? Please tell me I'm not the only one who thinks that it's insane. But that's not to factor into the things that you give to others and then you have to buy an extra pack for yourself, you know? Buying for your daughter, future kids. Um, what? <laughs> because you know for a fact that you're gonna be buying that shit until they're out of your house. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why aren't pads and tampons only like 15 cents a box? Okay, I get it. It's a lot of product. But come on. Nobody's like, give me a period. Give me a period. Unless they're hoping they don't have a baby. Then maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry for my insomnia attic. Is that the word? Thoughts, brain. Um... This is what I do when I can't sleep. I just scroll on my Instagram's discovery page. I already said this. I always get these facts, okay? Because on 
TikTok, I have, I'm on the tarot side of TikTok. So like every reading is too accurate for me and I can't, I can't deal with that. So instead I am on the Instagram discovery page, apparently learning random facts. This time happened to be kind of useful because I am a female specimen and I do get my period. And I hope that you've learned something. And if not, if you didn't learn anything, at least take away that 15,000. Damn. Whew. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't know why I left out on that one. That wasn't even, I wrote them in a totally different order than I said them, but I'm glad I left out on that one, left off on that one. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, learned something. You know, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below any other videos you want to see me do. Um, please let me know um, if you also le le <laughs> like learning random ass facts. I might just be a weirdo or a nerd. I think I'm a nerd. I think I'm low-key a nerd. It's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time with a new video. I don't know when this is getting posted, but subscribe. If you haven't yet already, most of you aren't. I already know because I look at my freaking thing and I'm disappointed that like 80% of you probably aren't subscribed. And I'm really sad about that because hello, <laughs> I need that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm done. Love you guys. Bye.